Yikes. <laughs> Today, we're going to be comparing the straightening brush, which has taken over the social sphere by storm, and compare it to the classic flat iron and see how both of them hold up. Ready to get started, Kayla? I'm ready. Let's do it. It looks pretty legit to me. It's hot, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't think it would get as hot as a normal iron. Mm -hmm. Most flat irons are usually about an inch to at most two inches wide, so this might actually cover more ground in a lot less time. All right, should we put it to the test? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think I need to like section this off a little. Ooh, yeah. This is cool because I don't need to brush my hair out first. I can just go right in. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> we should start at the bottom. Oh. Mm. It's working. I kind of wished I had this when my hair was still like super long and it would take me two hours at minimum just to straighten my hair. I'm liking it so far. Holy moly. It's a little, is... little frizzy there. But I like it. I feel like this would actually make me more willing to straighten my hair more often. It's a little bit tricky up at my scalp to kind of like, just like hold it there. It's not perfect but it's working pretty quickly. So now that we got a feel for how this brush sort of glides through our curls and makes life easier, let's see how it stands up to the flat iron. Introducing the frizz. Oh. I should probably work from the bottom I up because that's the easiest way to get rid of knots. Should have worked from the bottom up. If your hair starts smoking, that's a bad sign and you should probably turn down the heat. So that way your hair doesn't go up in flames. I like the smoke. Makes me feel like it's working. Yeah, that's what I usually think too. I'm like, it's working, it's working. With any hot tool you're working with, it's best to keep it at 350 and below to reduce the amount of damage your hair takes. Obviously you can't tell now with this like chunk of frizz, but I will say I'm seeing like a big difference between this straight and this straight. This is a nicer straight but it's definitely more time consuming. Finished product, um, I think there's a huge difference, as I'm sure you can tell. After seeing the difference with the straightening iron, it definitely gets a nicer straight. And besides, how else can you knock a little wave into your ends than with a good flat iron? It definitely took a long time with the iron, but in the long run, I think it would be worth it because it's more, this is more of the outcome that I'm hoping to achieve when I straighten my hair. Is the iron side. So there you have it, two really capable tools that work well. If you like them, give them a try. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Got a favorite hair tool? Got a tip or trick you want to share? Let us know in the comments below. To subscribe to Refinery29, click here. To watch more videos, click here. See you later.